Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Tay Janice. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in right now with thanksgiving in our hearts. Father God, I ask and pray that it be none of me and all of you. Touch each and every person that's under the sound of my voice. Father, deliver us from making poor choices and bad decisions. Father, we silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative against your word, your will, and your way. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. Hello, everybody. So I do have another word from the Lord today. The title of this message is, They Stayed Silent and They Regret It. They stayed silent and they regretted. This message may not be for everyone. This message may just be for a few people. Not every prophetic word is for you. So don't try and make it fit. Just make sure you take this word, this message back to the Lord in prayer. For some of you, this may be confirmation, something that you prayed about, something that God has already shown or told you. But if this message is for you, then this person regrets all the time that they spent Whether it was lying down in the bed with you, whether it was you guys riding in the car together, whether you guys, you know, may have, you know, walked around in the park or on a date or what have you. Whenever you would ask this person about a relationship, whenever you ask this person about moving forward with you, you had questions and they had no answers for you at all. And for many of you, you've already received a call. You may have received a text. You may have received an email, some type of form of communication. This person has tried to contact you to allow you to know that they made a mistake and they want to be with you. But for many of you, you've moved on. You've moved forward and you decided to stay that way because God had showed you that you've gone through this storm or you've gone through this situation with this person to where they had a chance, they had an opportunity to be with you, but they chose someone else. I don't know who this message is for, but this person regrets. They regret it. They stayed silent. They didn't say anything. They act like they didn't hear you. They didn't want to move forward. They didn't want to build anything with you. And now they see what God is doing in your life and they want to be a part of it. And this is also going to be a lyrical message. I was actually writing and this song came on and the title of it was called Fair Play. I just heard this song come on and I'm going to get right into the lyrics of it. And again, I'm not sure who this message is for. This message may just be for one or two people. And um, just make sure you take this word back to the Lord in prayer. And it says, I think it's kind of funny. You could say you love me. Turn around and play me. Yeah. I think it's kind of funny. You say things you don't mean. Underestimate me. Yeah. I have always done right by you. Said you never going to lie. Liar. It's going to come around full cycle. I flip the script on you. So whomever this message is for, this person actually underestimated you. They didn't think that. You could actually move on. They didn't think that you were actually fine or have someone else better. Many of you have moved on. Many of you have actually moved on to the person that God actually said that is for you. And for many of you, it's not that you thought that this person was for you. It's this was a person that maybe you dated in your younger years. This could have been somebody who was just from the recent past that you were with. And at the time, they may have had this strong bond with you or hold felt like over you. And you're just not having it. You're just not with it. And this person stayed thinking that you would always be around and that they can just come in whenever it is that they got ready. But they underestimated you. They didn't think that you would move forward. And they told you, for some of you, they allowed you to know that they love you, that they care for you, they wanted to be with you. And at the same time, you know, they fed you lies, you know, they kept you a secret or in the dark. And they, for many of you, you got ghosted. And so, but now maybe, you know, this person has now realized because the Lord has showed them that, you know, this is what you could have had. This is who you could have been with had you would have done what you were supposed to do. You would not have had to actually miss out. But I've given you this person. I've placed them in your face several times and you chose someone else. And that's how we do God. Sometimes we choose something else 
over God. We leave him behind. We do not, you know, take out the time to get to know him and who he is. And God doesn't want you guys to be in a situation to where it's too late. Do all that you can do now while you are here on earth, right? Serve the Lord. Open up your mouth. Give the Lord praise. Magnify his name. You know, celebrate you know, the Lord have this relationship with God, build it. And this is what he's wanting you to do. He's wanting you to come out of your darkness because he's shedding light on it that, you know, you need to do what God is asking you to do. And again, I'm not sure who this message is for, but that's just fair play. That's just fair play because you're at a point in your life to where you feel as though, hey, you played me. You underestimated me. You thought that you could do me any kind of way. I've always done right by you. I mean, if you done right by this person and they just tricked you and they just treated you like you were disposable. And this person just didn't know that you were going to flip the script on them. They didn't know that, again, you were going to move on. And for many of them, they're mad. The next the chorus says, tell me why you're mad. Tell me why you hurt. Bet you didn't think that the tables would turn. You're going to mess around. I'm going to do the same. How you like that karma? How you like that karma? Yeah, that's just fair play. Now I got your attention. Let me ask a question. Did you learn your lesson? Did it go over your brain? Now that we're confessing, I thought we were destined. You were Mr. Right, but you went looking the other way. So you're wondering at this point, you know, hey. I allowed you to be this person in my life. You were going to be my Mr. Right, my Mrs. Right. I would have done right by you. I did do right by you, but you mistreated me and you left me for dead. Many of them just they slept on you. They treated you like, again, you were invisible, like you didn't mean a thing. So, but now this person is mad and you're just kind of confused because it's like, why are you mad? <laughs> why are you hurt? Oh, you hurt because you didn't think the tables would turn. You hurt, hurt because you didn't think I would move on. And God has allowed you to move on. He's allowed you to move forward because God has so much more and so much better for you. Jeremiah 29 and 11 is the scripture he laid on my heart for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a good future. That's what God wants. And he doesn't want somebody that's going to keep going in cycles, getting close to you and then leaving you and trading you off every time for someone else. Then they come back around as if they don't know what's going on, come back around as if you're going to always be there to take them back. And you're not having it. You're not taking them back. You're not dealing with that. That's just fair play. You're done. You're done. So I don't know who this message is for today, (laughs) but this is interesting. Um, The Lord is ever proud of you that you chose yourself first and you chose to listen to him and continue to look towards the hill, knowing all of your help comes from him, knowing that this relationship that he has for you, you trusted him in the midst of all of your hurt and all of this pain that this person may have caught, um, caused you. And you've came thus far and allowed God to do what he needs to do in your life. And for many of you, you are about to actually allow this person to know that I'm not interested. I remember all of the times that I laid in the bed with you, maybe I walk with you, maybe Wherever you were with this person, you remember trying your best to do things the way that it needed to be done. You tried to, you know, you didn't try to play them. You didn't try to mistreat them. You didn't try to lead them on. You tried to do things the right way. You tried to give them um, something to actually, you know, believe in. And they didn't want it. They didn't want to do right. And now for many of you, they're going to call you. They have may have already called you and you're just not having it. And again, some of them may have just gotten out of a relationship. Um, And for some of you, even when they get out of a relationship here, they come calling you. They're only calling you because of what they just got out of. Maybe somebody hurt their feelings, broke their heart, something didn't turn out. And they want to use you as the second person, the rebound, the fallback person to go on. And you're just not having it. It's it's been over. It's been over for decades. It's been over for months. It's been over for years for some of you, days for some of you. And for many of you, it's about to be over. So 
this person can no longer play you small. They can no longer um, treat you the way that they just want to treat you and just come in whenever they get ready. So God is not having it. And God, God has somebody that's so much more than this, <laughs> better for you, great for you. He has a hope and a great future for your life. His plans are going to prosper you. And many of you may have already met that person that God has for you already. You guys are moving forward. Maybe you guys are now in communication, but this past person is history. They mean nothing to you. You wish them nothing but the best and you move forward. You let them know you forgive them and you move forward. You don't necessarily have to tell them if you got a chance to talk to them, you told them great. If not, then you just give it over to God and let go. Amen. Tell that old devil, if you're going to be rapping, I'm going to be singing. We're going to do a duet, but I'm not going to hang on to my past. I'm not going to hang on to someone that's not for me. I'm only going to hang on and fight for the person that God has for me every time. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for this message that you've given to us on today. Right off the top, we silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Shalom and the Lord, many peace in the Lord. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If this message is for you, go ahead and sow into this ministry as the Lord lays it on your heart to do so. We may have walked out of one way, walked out one way, but God is carrying us in another way he's walking us into the promised land that he's promised for us this is our year of answer prayers and we are not stopping until we make hell nervous do just like what the widow woman did she sold into the prophet's hands and when she sold god multiplied it so we are sowing our way into what we want god to do for us expecting to reap a harvest amen god's grace is sufficient and he will give you the strength that you need to go through whatever it is that you are facing whatever it is that you are going through but make sure that you don't stay silent the enemy loves it when you stay silent but a closed mouth don't get fed so continue to open up your mouth and talk to the Lord. Tell him what's going on. Jeremiah 33 and 3. Use God's phone number. And he will answer you. He won't block you. God loves you. He takes care of you. And he pays child support on your behalf. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not towards your own understanding. But in all of your ways. Acknowledge him. No matter what you're going through. Talk to him. Call him up and tell him what you want. Trust him. Amen. Thank you guys for your prayers, your support, your love, your super thanks. Amen. Many people have been asking on how to sow into the ministry. You can do so by PayPal, Cash App. Super thanks. Thank you guys for it. You can also do so by using your Zelle. People have been doing tithe and offering. Amen. I am standing in the gap with you, joining my faith with yours as long as God can get the glory. Amen. You need God to do something in your life and you want to sow a seed expecting to reap a harvest into this ministry. Amen. Go ahead and do so and watch God multiply that seed. Watch God multiply your finances. Watch God multiply in that marriage. That's what he told men and women in the beginning. He said, be fruitful and multiply. So expect to reap a harvest. Amen. Once you sow. Amen. I love you guys for the love of Christ. Uh, send a prayer request if you need one. Just be patient with me, please, please, please. I thank you so much in advance. I'm going to get to the prayer request. Amen. Again, I love you with the love of Christ. Do you know what? There's nothing you can do about it. You know, I'll see you in the next video.